Welcome to another Gleek video. In this video, we'll create a UML sequence diagram with a loop operator. The loop will represent a cashier entering items into the cash register system. Open up the Gleek.io app in your browser. Then select Sequence Diagram from the drop-down. As with every sequence diagram, we'll start with the actors. The first actor is the cashier, and the second is the cash register system. Let's just call it system for short. The interaction starts with the labeled arrow Enter Item, as the cashier needs to add items into the system. We'll also add a plus sign to create an activation bar next to the system actor. Next, the system responds with a description and price of the item. This uses a dotted line as it's an automatic answer from the system. These first two interactions need to be able to repeat because the cashier may need to enter multiple items for each customer. So we can use the loop operator. It's called a loop because it loops over the same interaction until it's told to stop. Just type forward slash and then type the word loop and hit the tab key before these two lines of code. Gleek recognizes that we want to create a loop and adds a nice box around the interactions. After the loop is created, we can continue our sequence diagram with the next message. The cashier doesn't have any more items to enter and tells the cash register to end the sale. The cash register's automatic response now comes back with the total bill for the items. The cashier shows the total amount to the customer. The customer pays, and the cashier enters the amount received into the cash register. Finally, the cash register prints the receipt that the cashier passes to the client. The last bit of code we need is to put a minus sign next to the system to indicate the end of the activation bar. You should now have a solid understanding of how loop fragments can help you create a sequence diagram with repetitive interactions between objects. Remember to like or share this video if you find it helpful. Happy diagramming!